Hello students and welcome back. So in today's lecture we are going to learn ab about a programming language that is QBASIC. So let's see what are the topics today. In, in our today's topic we are going to learn about the programming language the QBASIC. Okay, so we first we, will, we are going to learn about the history of it. Then the introduction to QB64. The QB64 is the name of the software what we are going to use and uh, how to execute, how to save and how to open a program and lastly how to exit from QB64. Okay, so let's uh, get started. So in QBASIC, the programming language, the language name is QBASIC. The full form of the QBASIC is Quick Beginners All Purpose Symbolic instruction code it is an updated version so it is an high level language and in last discussion in last day's lecture we have discussed about various programs and programming languages so if you don't uh, if you have any confusion you can check that video also so it is the programming language and it is a high level programming language so it is compiler and interpreter based programming language basically it is interpreter based so the QBASIC it was an updated version of the BASIC BASIC was the earlier version of the programming language that was beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code so it was the QBASIC is the uh, developed version of the BASIC so it was released by Microsoft in 1985 and it was supported it was based on ms dos operating system that time ms dos, -DOS operating system was uh, used in various computers that's why uh, the microsoft developed this uh, programming language to pro to create the programs and it also supports cui that means character user interface character user interface means where the user have to type instructions to get something done like uh, we are um, we have the mouse to click something and if we click on something the menu appears the folder opens the file opens whatever but in character user interface we have to do we have to type everything so that is the character user interface in um, another chapter you are going to uh, discuss it um, properly and uh, some more versions of the um, basic and the QBasic are available nowadays that is QB64 that we are going to learn GW basic visual basic power basic and many other also okay the QB64 this software what we are going to use today it was uh, released on January 2017 remember that and uh, that means it is a very newly developed software and it is uh, now we are going to use it okay so let's see how to open the qb64 qb64 is the software name is the version name uh, what we are going to learn okay so let's see how to start qb64 so to start qbasic you should have the qbasic uh, software saved in your computer as i have here qb64 so double click on it this is the setup file you just double click on it you just double click on it and uh, it will start okay so this is the QBASIC window so the software I will provide in the description you can uh, download it from there okay so this is our QBASIC uh, window so as you can see this is our QB64 window in this QB64 window let's see what are the components of this window so first component it, it is the title bar it shows the title of the QB64 it is the menu bar shows the different menus file edit view search run and option then it is the program name you can change the name by yourself uh, we are going to show it later this is the program area here you are going to write the actual program the program what we are going to learn we, we have to write in this area okay and next is vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar <coughs> these are two scroll bars available in this uh, QB64 window as well as in various windows also it is available and the last is status area in the status area you can see the status of the um, codes means if any code uh, if, if there is any uh, there is any mistake of the or there is any kind of uh, logical error syntactical error any kind of error it will be displayed here okay and uh, not when the program is going to execute that will also be displayed here 
okay so let's see how to save a program how to open a saved program so for that we need a program to be saved so let's write a simple program like uh, print print is a output statement is an output statement used to print some command onto the or, or print something onto the console or onto the output screen okay so as you can see the print i have written in uh, uh, small letter that is in lower case and it automatically converts into upper case that actually happens that keywords or the reserved words are not case sensitive if you write in smaller case it will automatically convert into upper case okay but the variables constants you must maintain the case means if you are writing in smaller case you must write that again into smaller case only later we will discuss about it so print statement print hello for to execute it we need to press f5 so pressing f5 it may take a while so you can see it is printed so again try something else so uh, instead of uh, writing hello we are writing your section name that is shivaji so whatever you write inside the double quotation that will be printed on the output screen again press f5 so as you can see the shivaji is printed okay so how to save it so for saving you can go to file and click on save or you can directly click uh, press ctrl s so as you can see the file name is appearing so remember here that the uh, file you are saving in qbasic will be saved with an dot bas extension dot bas is the extension of a qbasic file okay so here i am giving uh, the name intro so intro dot bas okay so so it is saved you can see that it is saved intro dot bas okay so uh, we are now doing another program so click on open a new a new file open so now we are going to open that previous program what, what we have saved so for that file open so you can see that in the list the name uh, the, of the file uh, we have just saved it is appearing so click on it and click on ok you can see the program we have saved earlier it is already displaying so this is how we can save a program in qbasic in Q and we can uh, open a pro saved program in qbasic ok to exit from qb64 what you have to do you have to go to file and click on exit so you can exit from the QSE. Okay. So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you. And have a nice day.